So in this video, we're going to do an example dealing with function notation. So if f of x is equal to negative 3x plus 2, we have to determine the value of all four of these expressions. So starting here, let's rewrite this. We got f of x equals negative 3x plus 2. Well, f of negative 2, all we're doing is we're plugging in negative 2 for x. So negative 3 times negative 2 is 6 plus 2 gives us 8. So f of negative 2 is equal to 8, which means negative 2 and 8 is a point on this function. This function here is a line. Notice how it's y equals mx plus b form. But this could be anything. It could be a quadratic. It could be an exponential. Basically, you're just plugging in these values for whatever the function is for x in the function. Same thing here. So f of 2 would be negative 3 times 2 plus 2, which would be negative 6 plus 2, which is negative 4. So that is the answer. So the coordinate is uh, 2 and negative 4. Number 3, f of 3a. So notice here how we're not going to be just plugging in a number for x. We're going to be plugging in an expression. So you can have stuff like this come up as well. So f of x is negative 3x plus 2. Well f of 3a, we would plug in this 3a here in brackets for x, right? We're plugging in 3a in terms of x. We have to plug in that whole expression for x, so we put it in brackets. And then negative 3 times 3a gives us negative 9a, and then this is plus 2. And this does not simplify any further, so that there is your final answer. And if you wanted to show this in coordinate form, basically 3a would be the value of the independent variable. Negative 9a plus 2 would be the value of the dependent variable for this function here. Right? So sometimes your answers will be expressions if what you're plugging in for x is an expression. And same thing for number 4. So f of x equals negative 3x plus 2. So f of 2a minus 1 would be negative 3, 2a minus 1 plus 2. So you're plugging in 2a minus 1 for that entire x variable. So you're putting it in brackets. And then from here, you would just simplify this. So you'd have to distribute the negative 3 inside the bracket. So negative 3 times 2a is negative 6a. Negative 3 times negative 1 is positive 3 plus 2, which gives us negative 6a plus Five. So that's what f of 2a minus 1 is equal to, negative 6a plus 5. That's the, uh, that's the final answer. And in coordinate form, it's like this. Right? So whenever you get questions like this, basically you're taking whatever's inside the bracket, plugging it in for x, whether it's a number or an expression.